Hello dear friends, uh, this is a video uh, shorter than normal, I'm aiming for 10 minutes and as you'll see in the title I'm calling it 10 for 10, this means 10 cars in 10 minutes, um, in front here I have got this very very big shopping bag from one of our chain supermarkets Tesco's there we go and it is ram packed of what i've bought in the last i don't know month and a half two months and so what i'm going to do is pull it out of the way and i'm just going to randomly stick my hand in it uh let's put it down next to me i'm going to randomly stick my hand in it and pull out 10 castings in a row and hopefully we shall get them done in 10 minutes for your delight and delectation um right let's go in then and ah yes yes i found this beauty uh the morris mini in hot wheels racing livery very heavy casting very very heavy casting and it's on an american long card I actually pulled this out from a store called Boys, which is known for being a bit old fashioned and a bit numpty. But when they're pulling mixed cases in from everywhere, then there we go. Nice grill. Uh, then you can find some odd treasures. There we go, Mr. Dyson. Looks like the door's open on this. Uh, very lustrous paint job. I say it's got the Hot Wheels uh, team logos on. I'm just looking because it looks a bit rare of this. I mean, the wheels are factually correct. I'm wondering if this is a treasure hunt, you know, but I can't see the logo. Uh, let's try it a cack and way. No, but this is uh, very, very fine quality. Yeah, this is a rare one for me. I, I say I don't know what the backstory is on this one. Uh, as you can see, there on the back, uh, da -da, this was made for somewhere else because they put over the usual information. It, you can see some foreign writing there. So uh, I don't know where this was. Para, para menores. I wonder if this was made for South American market, be it Brazil or Chile or Puerto Rico. But they put a a sticker on for ours, our market. So yeah, so this is a rare one for these shows, but the quality is absolutely top notch. I say, I swear to God, them doors open. Either that or it's very deep set panel lines, but... I'll find out when I crack it. But yeah. So there we go. Getting on then. What we got next? I said this is a, a mixed bag. Oh. I love this one from Matchbox. The 2020 Corvette C8. Uh, this is a very, very weighty piece. Beautiful, beautiful shape. We have got Tampo headlights there. I'm having trouble with my light in the light. Let's try and bring this one in over as well. Um, and my focus as well. Uh, so we've got uh, Tampo dead lights. We have got a Corvette badge on there, which you can just see in the light. Um, oh, beautiful detail on the back. Look at that. Licence plate, full back rack of... Uh, tail lights and deep sculptured body lines this is from the new case that's hit us so um if you can see there i'm taking that's a g case although i'm no aficionado on matchbox let me get in focus there we go that's what i'm looking at up there but yeah that's anyway this is the latest case in my area we don't get any matchbox specials or moving parts. We just get generic short card castings. But there's some beauties in there. So I'm happy with that. 
what we got next. Oh, now this is a fine thing. Look at this Dodge van. I mean, this is for me untypical of Hot Wheels. This is beautifully detailed. Um, looks like it's got the Mopar logo on the front there. Um, RYU. Is that like a power company, I think? It seems to have chips all over it. We've got the moon eyes on the bottom of the door there. But we have got some fantastic detail on there. Look, the great, fan, fantastically marked out uh, grill, lights, marker lights, um, chrome interior. But look at all that inside. I can't even pick out what's going on in there. I think that's, it almost looks like seats to me, but I'm not saying I'm right. And then we'll take it round to the rear and there's nothing. Um, so all this on the front, all this on the side, great detail. Um, this is from, uh, I, I'm taking, that's the G case there. There we go. But it's the first and only time I've seen this one, so bang, I had to have it. That is a beauty. I don't usually watch these videos that show you what's coming out, what the treasure hunts are, I just suck it and see. Now, I said I went to um, Boys, there was an American long card, and there was another one that took me fancy as well. Look at that. Mazda RX-8, uh, sorry, Mazda RX-7. Uh, I don't usually like the lace wheels, but they look very fine on this. Uh, beautiful racing livery, Mazda there, Kone. Um, wow, I like this. Same as before, look, not made for our market, so they put a UK sticker over. But that is a fine, fine thing. Liking that immensely. Let's try that. Right, let's whiz through. Because with my introduction, I'm losing time. Beautiful uh, Then and Now series. This one's a pretty one. Porsche 934 Turbo RSR. Um, no details to shout about on the back. Some on the front. Pair of eyes there. Why does my camera keep going out of focus badly now? Uh, yeah, pair of eyes, Porsche badge. Nice Kermit the Frog livery. Bit of a spoiler picked out. Nice generic mainline piece. F case. I used to think this was the all, all seeing, all doing thing, but apparently it's always the first letter. So we shall stick that one there. Uh, reaching in, oh, it's a green fame, crikey, on the S2000, um, I might have this one already, it seems to ring a bell, if I have, it'll go in my competition prize, um, we're about 7 or 8 subscribers away from 300 and that giveaway, so please encourage people to come across. For those of you that watch my videos and don't subscribe, please consider subscribing to me. That would make me immensely happy. It would make a landmark 300 subscribers in what has been ooh, 10 months since I started doing these videos. Um, so yeah, great. This one will get it out the way. Uh, I'm aware that the Barbie car was collectible. Um, so I got me one, I got me missus one, and then a couple of people sent me one. And this is the latest thing out now, the Barbie Dream Camper uh, on short card. Um, that looks like Barbie in silhouette with a pair of cat curtains there. Uh, no details back, although there is a spare wheel. There is details on the front once again, rather curiously. There we go. Um, different coloured saloon there. Nice wheels. 
not my thing, but for collectability. And I'm getting that, that's the G case as well. So this is the latest thing out in my area. Um, what have we got next? PC, and I'm at, I've hit 10 minutes there, so we'll trim it down next time. 84 Pontiac Firebird. We got that uh, wing chicken on the side there. One on the hood that's almost that small, it's Corvette like. Um, we've got the T tops, no details back, no details front, but I think that's quite a sporty looking beast. So that's piece eight. Uh, just reaching down in here, random. I think I might have one of these already as well, in which case the other will be going. For competition as part of the prize, the beautiful 96 Chevrolet Impala SS. I like this, it's classy. Alas, no details back, but they've done half a job on the front there. There we go. Picking out that bow tie and lights and side lights. Um, yeah, it's a classy looking car. I was happy to find that one. But I may already have it. So it'll go towards prizes. And the final piece for today. Let's change it up. We have got a brand new Welly. It's part of their new range. And we've got one of my, well, my favourite things in there. Um, the Volkswagen Beetle. Uh, as some people have pointed out in other countries. They're... Uh, FX or Kex, we get FX, so I don't quite know. I think it's just different bump for different countries. But I love Welly. Uh, have I got half a chance of opening this one? Is it sealed? It's sealed, but luckily, oh, luckily I've got a, an instrument here next to me. Let's have a look. go i think this needs to come out the box because obviously i can put it straight back in and you get to see the fine quality in the casting in its glory there we go careful with them tabs as my old friend johnny roman from toy car case would tell me so there we go we've opened that nicely and let's have a little look there we go I say at least with Welly you get to use the boxes again if you so desire. So look at the lustrous gloss black paint job there. Factual wheels, the sporty type. Ah, oh, how nice. And there we go. Full detail on the back. And these don't cost much more than, I don't know, about £1.20 a piece. So we've got a license plate with VW Beetle on. We've got lights within lights, uh, red brake lights and orange indicators. And then on that classic nose, we've got silver painted lights, uh, another license plate, uh, top marker lights, bit crudely done with the paint there. And the tiniest Volkswagen badge there, but we have got silvered um, windscreen wipers. So, and you know it's a pretty good roller but yeah i love welly and i'll never stop singing their praises because for the money you get far more than you would do from any other company a humble price point but a great product so that is big souls first ever 10 for 10 um and we will do this series through to that bag being emptied and then we will resurrect it in the future this is what I like to do, collect and then have a show and then we can, oops, there we go. We can um, do a mass opening and play no casing. Gary, I hear what you're saying, brother. No problem. At the moment, though, in this country, I have problems getting play no cases because they're imported from America. And with the world being a crazy place at the minute, uh, things ain't running so smoothly so there we go this is number one in a new series 10 for 10 
This is May saying cheerio for now. Bye-bye.